the first thing I'll say is the first thing that I saw the first time I came on campus here at LSUA. I was pulling up and I noticed a sign thanks to the Catholic Student Center. It read Psalm 32.8. It said, I will instruct and I will show you the way you should walk. And that hit me like a ton of basketballs. And here I am today. And I've got one more scripture. It says Matthew 19, 26. With God, all things are possible. I'm 5'8 on a good day. <laughs> right now, I stand 5'5. Five five. And people ask, you know, how basketball? But I'm a man of faith. And I, I know this is not a preaching conference. It's a press conference, and I'm not the type that really enjoys press conferences. I'd rather be somewhere with my sleeves rolled up, working. But I am thank thankful for the time here and for this opportunity, and I would like to uh, thank some people. And, uh, you know, sometimes, Coach Z, you have to ask for forgiveness before permission, and right now, Forgive me if I leave some names off because I'm not going to ask permission to keep you all afternoon because I could thank thousands of people. But first and uh, foremost, I'd like to thank my family, my mother and my father. Uh, they taught me a lot of life skills to get to this point where I am. My father's a provider, and I just hope I can give back and provide to the LSUA community in the way that he's taught me. And my mother sitting here, she's a selfless servant. She serves everyone that she comes in contact with. And I hope I can be a servant to the student athletes and to the community and to the campus here at LSUA as she has taught me. And I think God knew what he was doing when he gave you five kids, Mom. I'm, I'm one of five, right in the middle. And of course, if you don't know in basketball, it takes five at a time to play. So I come from a team already. Worked with a team, there's four boys and one girl. And I'd like to say thank you to my brother, Richie. He's here in attendance today. My sister, Connie, introduced me to LSU. She went there first, and I joined her. I transferred from an NAIA school in New Orleans. And I went to LSU there, worked with the basketball team. My middle, my brother older than me, Vinny, is not here today. He has sacrificed, and he's the one that has stayed home in Ruston to help with my father and his company. And my oldest brother, Marty, He's in minor league baseball. He set the bar very high for the Corderos. He's in the sports world. Uh, not only has he been the national executive of the year, but just recently his team was the minor league AAA baseball team championship uh, of the season. So I'd like to uh, acknowledge my family first and foremost. Uh, second, I want to give a thank you to the LSUA administration. I do not see Dr. Parks here today, but I do see Chancellor Correll, Coach Z, and um, many others that are here. So I would like to say thank you to the administration for uh, allowing me to be here today and to speak and to lead your men's basketball program. And uh, third, I would like to just acknowledge and give a quick thank you to all the coaches, all the players, the student managers, the student secretaries, the trainers, everyone that's helped where I've been, whether it started in New Orleans, at Xavier, on to LSU in Baton Rouge, Texas Arlington for two years, and at Southeastern where I am. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for that group of people as well. So I'd like to thank my family, I'd like to thank the administration here, and I'd like to thank everyone that's helped me to where I am. Uh, why LSUA? You know, it's not a challenge that I welcome. It's not an opportunity, really, that I welcome. It's, it's a challenge that I chase. It's something I'm not just going to welcome it, but I'm going to chase it down. And ever since I got here on campus, there's three things why LSUA. The first, I would have to say, is the name, LSU. You know, me going to school at LSU and getting two degrees in four years, I'll let you figure that out. I'm not that smart. But I received my undergraduate degree in accounting from LSU and a master's in sports management while having the luxury of working with Coach John Brady and his staff there. And we went to two NITs and one NCAA tournament. And that kind of boosted me on to Texas Arlington, where I spent two years there. 
But uh, back to the LSUA, the LSUA name, you can go statewide, you can go nationwide. I think the name LSU means so much to me. Where I got my education, uh, just that's the flagship school of the state. And I think you can go a lot of places and mention LSU, and we'll say LSUA in that same realm where we can get instant respect. Name recognition is the first thing is uh, why I would think LSUA is why would I come here. The second thing uh, actually is three things. And the second reason why LSUA is location, location, location. I think you have an unbelievable location right in the center of the state. You know, I was born and raised in Ruston, Louisiana. And I went to school in South Louisiana, have been working in South Louisiana. So 19 years in the north part, 13 years in the south part. And for those that are at doing the math to see if I'm as old as I look, uh, two years in Texas. So 90% of my life I've been in Louisiana. So I feel like I'm a Louisiana guy, if you will. And from the north to the south, I'm excited about coming here in the center of the state. All roads in Louisiana lead through Alexandria. You can get to most any school, any city in the state of Louisiana, two hours, three hours max. So I think it's a great location right here in the center of the state. And the last thing why LSUA, Chancellor Corral, is just the people. I can remember getting off the phone uh, during the interview process in my office and I mentioned to our student secretary, wow, those are some nice people. Exactly what I told her. It was just like you could just tell the spirit, the care, the, the feel that I got when I came and interviewed with Coach Z and his co interview committee. I just uh, am looking forward to working with the people. And those same three things is how I'll recruit. It can be uh, the name recognition, LSU, second location, your family, support, you can be seen, you can have uh, family and friends in the stands to watch you play, and then the people here, and hopefully I'll be a part of that as well. I'm looking forward to doing that, YLSUA. Uh, with a new program, it's kind of like having a, a newborn baby. What does that baby have to do? You have to do what? It wants to what? And it wants to be fed. Newborn baby needs to eat to survive, to thrive. And that's the same thing with this new program, these new sports that we're adding. I would like to just ask for some support in feeding the sports. And there's three things that come to mind. You know, I'm as simple as one, two, three a lot of times. The first would be with your mind. If you've got any ideas, any suggestions, any thoughts, anything that you can think of, myself, Coach Z, see Coach Austin in the crowd, I'm excited about working with him. Please bring some ideas. I'm an open-minded person. I don't have all the answers. I'm smart enough to know I'm not smart enough. So if you can give anything with your mind, that'll be excellent. The second thing how you can give to these student athletes is your time, whether it be coming to a game, whether it be faculty who may be in this room, staying and working late with student athletes. I always say student athletes is like going to school twice. I've been a student myself. I tried to the athlete part. Didn't quite work out, so I got into coaching. But I respect how all the time you guys put into that. So if anybody can give with their mind, with their time, and the last but not least, you've got to feed, you've got to feed it, you've got to nurture it. Please help us fundraise resources by your pocketbook. Last but not least, we will need funds to take it to the next level. So those are three things that uh, I would like for you to be able to give to this program, and not just men's basketball, women's basketball, softball, baseball. We've got soccer, men's and women's soccer. Am I leaving anyone off? Tennis. Tennis, men's and women's tennis. Women's tennis, all right. So that's a little bit about me. Hopefully I hit on a couple things that I wanted to say to y'all today. I would uh, appreciate your support and have any questions and answers at this time. I'm all yours for a few minutes. What is your recruitment plan? My recruitment plan, you know, I say simple as one, two, three. I think three things you need to do to be successful in anything is one, be organized. I think you've got to be organized and I think you've got to have a work ethic. You've got to put the time into something. And then third, you've got to be able to communicate. 
So I'm going to I'm going to have the organized. I know a lot of coaches in the state in this area. I'm going to get out and about, uh, go meet with coaches if I haven't already and uh, just tell them what we're about, what we're building. And that's the communication part is to get out and to be visible and to continue to build relationships. Uh, me being in the state for so long, if not 80 to 90 percent of the coaches in the state, I feel like I know and hopefully that'll help them to trust me to do a good job with their student athletes to take them to the next level in college. So just to outwork people and to have an, an organized plan and to be able to effectively communicate our message and what we want to, how, how we want to build things here in Alexandria. Good question. She also mentioned that you guys, I always say your players are your biggest recruiters. I've said that year after year after year after year. Well, guess what? We, I don't have any players. So if you know any names, please feel free. I'll hang around afterwards. If you know folks that have a cousin or someone that you go to church with, we'd like to build this together, you know, team. Together, everyone achieves more. It's not about me. It's, it's a first for me in being a head coach, but it's also LSUA's day for basketball, men's basketball, and Coach Austin's going to do an excellent job as well on the women's side. So it's, uh, we, all, it's we before me. We've got to do this together. We can uh, take all the support and all the help you can. Another question, please? Don't be shy. Yes, ma'am, Ms. Hannah. Um, you mentioned that our name, the LSU name, mm -hmm. will make students want to come here. A lot of students take pride in the A at the end of LSU. How mm -hmm. would you get students to recruit students taking pride in the A at the end of LSU? It's interesting you say that. I coached at Arlington, Texas, and we had a shirt that had the A, kind of like this baseball player here. And I was already thinking about having, you know, LSU A and I think you just have to get out in the community and try to keep those student athletes here in Alexandria. Uh, just, just, just pride, just tradition, and getting that Alexandria name out there and just gaining support, making it feel like, you know, you don't have to go to Eunice or to Baton Rouge. You know, we've got LSUA right here. Uh, that's, a, that's a really good question. Uh, I'm going to have to kind of think a little bit more on that. but. Just get out there and to build relationships and, and to start tradition and, to, and to just get our name, get our school out there. I think we're going to have to you know, invite folks down here, whatever it may be, uh, whether we do a, a 5K race and run around through the area or whether we do some type of camp. Myself, I'm big on basketball camps. I've been fortunate to do one in Ruston, Louisiana, where I'm from, for nine summers. Next year will be the 10th year. I'm thinking last night it may not be a 10th one. It may be here in Alexandria. I want to get out and do camps, whether it's in Alexandria, so to say, or whether it's get them here on campus, kind of do a little bit of both. I've got a basketball clinic that I kind of want to do for the local high school coaches. There's numerous things that I've kind of already formulated some lists and some ideas and just getting the, uh, the program, the awareness out there to people who uh, may not know about LSUA, just to get them to be aware of it. Another question. I won't go as long-winded on the answer. Larry, of the coaches that you've worked with or played for, who would you say has been the most influential in, in your coaching philosophy? Hmm. Well, I didn't really name any of those guys. I didn't want to get into naming names. But, you know, I've worked for three different head coaches in John Brady, in Eddie McCarter, and Jim Yarbrough. And Coach Yarbrough I've been with eight years now. Coach Brady, I was with three years, and Eddie McCarter, two years. So I would say a blend of the three, but more so Coach Yarbrough because it's been the longest and it's been, uh, you know, the most recent. You know, I've learned more X's and O's, you know, from Coach Y, as we call him. He's just taught me so much, and he's prepared me for this moment. Uh, he was a first-time head coach at a Division II program in Valdosta, Georgia, so he kind of – respects and appreciates kind of what I'm doing and has given me some leeway in finishing up the year in Hammond while also building this program and coming up here for things like this. But uh, Coach Yarbrough's taught me an unbelievable amount of X's and O's that I'll transfer up here to LSUA. Answer your question, Brett? Yes. My next question was going to be, can you talk some about that philosophy? What, what are we going to see on the court from your team? Well, 
I won't quite tell you right now. You need to purchase season tickets and tell <laughs> everyone else to come out and I, you can watch, see for yourself. But uh, we'll be versatile. You know, it's going to start in recruiting student athletes that, one, want to go to class. You know, I'm Coach Cordero with a C. I think three things I'm looking for in student athletes, they want to excel in the classroom first, on the court, and also in the community. So we don't want student athletes that are just willing to get an education or willing to work hard or willing. We, we're looking for the word eager. We want student athletes to be eager to go to class, win on the court, and serve in the community. But we'll be versatile on the court. We'll be athletic. Hopefully, we'll be able to shoot the ball. Uh, we'll be smart, high IQ'd, uh, mainly well conditioned. I'm, I'm a conditioner type guy and a toughness type guy, have discipline and be unselfish on both ends of the court. I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. I'm going to use what I've learned, what I've seen has worked. I've had the pleasure of working with Roman Banks at Southern, at Southeastern. Now he's at Southern. He's taken that team in year two to the NCAA tournament. I went and watched them practice a couple weeks ago, and they're even, they're really good. Uh, not to take anything away from what we're building at Southeastern, I think this is going to be a special year as well. And I'm thankful for Coach Z and Chancellor Correll for letting me finish my tenure there before I move on up here. But uh, we'll be tough, we'll be unselfish, we'll be disciplined, and we'll stress more than just, uh, you know, there's so much more to, to, uh, to my job than just basketball. Believe it or not, that's a small percent. There'll be a lot of more other things. You know, my main vision is to fulfill purposes, not just to teach X's and O's and winning some games will be good. Like my brother said on the way here, Larry, you'll win more games your first year than they did the year before. I certainly hope so. <laughs> but uh, we want to fulfill purposes. We want to help student athletes to reach their destination and what they want to do in life and look at it on the bigger scheme of things, not just getting basketball out of them, but getting a little more life values and lessons. Anyone else? Going once, going twice. One more question. How many scholarships will you have, Larry? That's the answer that Coach Z we're working on now. I think Coach Bob Austin and myself and I are going to meet afterwards. There's some details that uh, we don't know. This was kind of a leap of faith. Uh, it was time for me. I kind of hit my ceiling at Southeastern as the associate head coach. It was time for me to go on and put my own stamp, my own footprint into a, a program. And I'm just thankful that LSUA has allowed me this opportunity. I'm uh, excited and looking forward to hitting the ground running. And uh, I'll be back in March full time. But in the meanwhile, I know Coach Z said he's here, tired of hearing about my composition book. I've already started writing names and notes and ideas and lists. I've, hit, I've already started hitting it right now, getting some names of some recruits and all that together. So I look forward to, be, to being a general and to working with everyone on campus, uh, from Chancellor Correll down to whoever it may be. I'm open for suggestions. And as you could give in one of those three ways, your mind, your time, or your pocketbook, it'd be greatly appreciated and your resources won't be taken for granted or lightly. And we'll make the most of this situation to put a product on the court that you'll be proud of for years to come.